Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Missy Siwe. If you're coming back, thank you so much for the love and support. I really do appreciate it. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get this gorgeous look. This is a get ready with me. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're notified for my every upload. Share this video if you can and I'll see you in my next video. Enjoy. First things first prime your face i'm gonna use this much primer i absolutely love this primer i love how it blows your face and i love how it just makes your foundation look very seamlessly um and then i'm just gonna use my infallible more than one concealer by l'oreal to prime my eyelid all the products that i'm using are from clicks their drugstore so you can either get it from clicks or this came i think it this as well i wasn't sure about this eye look as you can see i was trying something different out i'm just gonna take my morphe eyeshadow palette literally got it five years back i can't remember where i got it from i'm gonna take the orange shade as my transition shade and then i'm just gonna take the brown and just blend it on top of the orange shade and then i'm just gonna take a pomade from revlon and i'm just gonna apply it as my base before i apply my blue eyeshadow just so that i can get that pigment that i want from the eyeshadow and then i'm just gonna take my travel i should have palette from revlon i'm gonna use that blue should have used the blue from the morphe i should have palette which i don't know i was probably very stressed out just gonna apply it on top and then i'm just gonna take my highlighter and then apply that shade on the inner corner of my eye just to brighten up my eye look and then what I'm going to do now, obviously make sure that everything is blended out, go back and forth between the shades. And then what I'm going to do is color correct. I normally don't do this, but lately I find that under my eyes and around my mouth area, it looks a bit dark. I don't know why, but I'm going to deal with it. And then I'm just going to apply my foundation stick. This is, I don't know which shade this is in, but it's a bit orangish, obviously. And then I'm just going to blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. For foundation, I'm going to use my Colorstay Full Coverage Foundation. I think this is a matte foundation, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what shade this is in. Like I said, if everything is not listed, everything will be listed. <laughs> Obviously, this foundation is a bit light, but because I color corrected, um, it blends well with the color that I used to color correct. So I'm just going to apply it and just blend it out. And uh, I'm using a brush. I find that brushes give you more coverage, full coverage, I mean, more than I'm using a beauty blender because a beauty blender sucks up all the products. So yeah, I use brushes to give me full coverage. And these brushes are from Mr. Price by Scarlett here. And then obviously I'm gonna highlight. You need to bring light into your life. I'm gonna use um, the same concealer that i used to prime my eyelids this is the infallible more than one concealer by l'oreal obviously more is more when it comes to makeup for me i'm a full coverage girl everything full coverage please and then i'm just gonna apply it obviously under my eyes the brush of my nose around my mouth area basically like a mustache and my chin and then on my forehead and yeah i love concealer guys i love makeup so i'm not an um natural makeup type of girl no makeup type of girl it's either i have makeup on or i don't it's very really simple and then i'm just gonna cream contour using my foundation stick by revlon guys let me tell you about these foundation sticks okay you can literally use them in so many ways that's why i love them and literally they will last you years years i can see i'm not sure if makeup expires but i think it does i don't know for how long but like literally these makeup products these foundation sticks will last you for like probably like two years or more okay so you're gonna save your money trust me so i'm just gonna blend it out obviously i'm gonna start with my cream contour because i want my concealer to set a little bit so that it can give me more coverage but honestly these concealers these l'oreal concealers are literally the best guys like literally like they are for coverage like i'm just very extra you don't literally need to let them set they're gonna give you full coverage regardless the key to a flawless base, the key to a flawless makeup look is to make sure that you take your time when blending, okay? I always say if you're in a rush, don't attempt to do your makeup because probably like 99% of the time your makeup is going to look like trash. Literally, don't even put yourself in that circumstance where you're going to have to rush doing your makeup. Makeup needs time. You literally need to take your time. And then I'm just going to blend out my under eye, my concealer. Obviously, as you can see, the coverage, the brightness, life is coming to light. You know what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. A 3D type of look. 
okay so yeah just make sure that you blend guys take your time don't be too harsh try not to drag your brushes or drag your beauty blender try to tap it in because your products are gonna move you don't want that you don't want all your hard work to go to waste another thing guys always make sure to go back between your um highlighter your under eye highlight concealer and your contour just to make sure that everything is blended out you don't want harsh lines on your face before you set your um highlighter and cream contour can you hear those kids screaming outside i don't know why school comes out this early actually i don't know it's a trap Anyway, I'm gonna take my pressed powder by Revlon. This is probably like the same shade as my foundation. And I'm gonna set with it first before using my loose powder. I'm gonna set under my eyes and a little bit everywhere on my face. Basically, you want your face to be somehow a little bit matte, but not too matte, obviously. Um, just so that you're not shiny. So you want to take the shine away, basically. Before you start setting everything. This is going to help for your makeup to last the entire day. And trust me guys. Like please trust me. I promise you it works. Now that you've taken all the shine away, now it's time to bake or to set your under eyes. I don't bake because my skin is dry, so I don't want to look ashy. I don't want to look like my skin is cracking. I don't want to look older than my age. You know what I mean? So I'm basically just going to use my Yardley Loose Powder to set under my eyes. I don't bake. I just let it literally set for like two seconds while I'm applying it everywhere else. Um, I only applied obviously where I applied my highlighter, my concealer, and yeah, I absolutely love this product. Highly recommend this product. Highly recommend all the products that I've used. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take a brush and then just tap it into my skin. You don't want to literally brush it off because um, it's not going to give you the coverage that you want. You know what I mean? It's not going to set your makeup and it's not going to make your makeup last the entire day, which is what you want. So what you need to do is just brush it in, tap it into your skin so that you can get a flawless finished base and a long lasting base beat. Okay. And then what I'm going to do now is just take a press powder. This is the matte um, coolest press powder by... Maybelline, absolutely love this press powder. Okay, I'm gonna use it to set my contour and jump. Yeah, absolutely love it. Like I said, I love the coverage. I think my thing is getting a full coverage. Anything that's gonna give me full coverage is gonna be my product. Okay, it's gonna be my baby. And one thing that I've also realized, guys, it's also not more about the product, it's more about the technique. And then I'm just going to go back to the Morphe eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take a blue matte eyeshadow. Then I'm just going to apply it under my eyes while my waterline, while close to my waterline. Because I'm going to take a black eyeshadow. Wait. I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and then I just apply it on my waterline. Basically using it as an eyeliner. I didn't show it, but that's what I did. And then I'm just going to take my um, blush, Revlon blush. This is in the shade Rose Balm. Very pigmented. Okay, you uh, no. This product is not to be messed with. It's very pigmented. You will look like a clown, actually. And then to set my entire face, I'm going to use the Scarlet Hill setting spray. The setting spray, I don't know how I feel about the setting spray, okay? I love it. I love how, I, I just don't love the, the bristles, how it, like, it comes out. I don't love it. I don't know. The, the product, the bottle, the packaging, I, I'm not, I'm not, it's not my thing. I don't love it. They should work on it. And then I'm just going to take brown eyeshadow and I'm going to use it as a lip liner. A lot of people always ask me about this. I find that it lasts you the entire day, guys. Like I said, I don't know how many times. Trust me. And then obviously, my favorite lip combo. I'm going to take my liquid lipstick. This is from Signature. I don't know what shade, but yeah love it and then concealer i'm gonna take my concealer the maybelline concealer and i'm gonna use it the center of my lips that's gonna give me an ombre look please don't ask me why i don't buy a nude lipstick this combo works and if it works 
there's no need for me to change it that's just what it is i mean i'm just gonna take my lip gloss and apply it on top i'm not a glossy girl but you know I'm trying different things I'm trying different things basically thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video tell me if you like this look and i'll see you guys in my next video